Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget, like and subscribe. I only see Russell ticks uh, as of Friday. Uh, they had a number of 15,098 distributed in the current setup for 17,288 for Survivor Series at uh, the Rogers Arena. Yeah, but it's going to that's what's going to sell out. Yeah. And they had very, very high ticket prices also. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, Survivor Series in Vancouver and everything. I think it's going to be bloodline, bloodline. You know, I mean, it was interesting because, um, you know, it looks, I mean, it doesn't look the, the, you know, they're going to do Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes against uh, Jacob Fatu and Solo Sokoa. I mean, to me, the it's, it's, what's interesting on this one is you can go so many different ways on this finish and they'll all be good. It just depends on where you want to go. I mean, you could have Jacob Fatu pin Cody set up a world title match. You could just beat Solo just to protect everyone else. Um, you know, um, you could have, I, you could throw in a spot where Roman spears Cody when somebody moves. Um, I would be, you know, and, and, you know, build up to uh, Roman and Cody at some point. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, you know, and there's, there's many other offshoots that you could do. Um, you know, you could do solo pinning Cody just to get back because Cody, Cody's beat solo twice. Um, you know, so. Um, and, and build up solo for Roman Reigns for singles match with Roman Reigns. But I mean, if Cody, if, 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 uh, solo beats Cody, then you have to do another match between those two, which, you know, again, is a way to keep the Roman and solo match from, um, singles match from taking place this early. But I think that they're, you know, Roman and Jacob Fatu is, is as a single is going to come for sure. Cause I'm going to guess in this match, they, they really build to the Roman and Jacob Fatu. And they, I think at this point, they have to have at bad blood because it's a pay-per-view main event. They have to have Jacob Fatu sell, which he's done very little of. Mm -hmm. um, and they've, they've avoided it, you know, in, in, in like in this one, you know, like when uh, there was all the brawling and everything and Roman was, was bouncing everybody around, you notice that they kept Jacob Fatu completely out of the ring during that sequence. Yeah. So they pulled him out of the cage. Right. Right. At the end. Right. At the end. No, but even before the, before, when when uh, when Roman was beating on everyone, um, they made sure that Solo wasn't there. And then at the end, when Roman was about to do something to Solo, he pulled him away. You know, like uh, they look like they're going to go at it. So, I mean, the thing is, is they they didn't want early on um, Jacob selling for Roman. You know, I mean, that's why they did the injury angle that that the pay per view, and you know, so that that's kind of been you know the whole big thing of trying to protect uh jacob fatu early on in the angle where he's not selling for roman reigns so the uh the match that you're talking about was made on smackdown uh cody beat solo in a, a pretty good tv cage match i thought yeah like, I, I they, thought they, took, they took some pretty big bumps in that match yeah i thought the match was really good and the other thing too is is uh a cage match with no going out of the cage mm -hmm. and no interference. I mean, they interfered after the match, but the match had no outside interference, which for WWE cage matches, that's very rare. Cody even, he didn't really tease it, but when he went up to the top of the cage to do the, uh, I think, what did he do? A high cross, I think, off the top of the cage. He did, yeah, he did a high cross, yeah. He actually, when he stood up on the cage, he actually stood up backwards, so his back to solo and i was like oh he's just teasing us because of that one moonsault that he did the the in, in, in atlanta years ago <laughs> yeah, and he got years ago. hurt <laughs> he broke his foot i think yeah yeah but he, but he got hurt he got hurt yeah uh there was a, a, a and there was a superplex spot where i thought both guys kind of landed uh a little harshly uh but mm -hmm. i thought the match was i thought the match was really good and uh then you got the bloodline beat down and uh roman coming out to uh to to show up and and you know beat up on, on the bad guys and so the storyline throughout the whole show was that the bloodline wanted to make a challenge cody didn't want any part of the challenge and the idea was solo and fatu versus cody and roman cody said he was done with the bloodline the roman's problem uh, nick aldis was working really hard to make the match talks to roman roman says he's in so Roman goes to the ring at the end in the, in the last segment and uh, he gets attacked again. Cody's there. 
and they finally both signed the contract. So this is like Mega Powers 2024 here for, <laughs> for Bad Blood. Yeah. Which, which is yeah, Cody, it's cool. I mean, you saw it coming. People, yeah. I think people will be excited for it. It's pretty cool, though. I, you know, we do need an explanation from Roman uh, about, you know, why he's OK with this uh, after the blood feud and also the, uh, you know, the guy's the champ and that's his belt technically. So I hope we hear a little bit of something about that. Well, I mean, the logic is, is that, um, you know, they were both beaten down and they each saved each other. Yeah. The um, what did you think of the I mean, the show was not that different from SmackDown. I don't even know if it was different at all. You had a different theme song. So Megan the Stallion did mm -hmm. the intro. You had new graphics and I did not like that SmackDown logo. I, I, I thought it was uh, I thought they could have done a much better job with that. Uh, the graphics were cool, though. I, li I like the on screen graphics. We still heard all of the muting whenever there was any bad words, which kind of hurt. Uh, some of the segments I thought, or the you know the important a, a little stuff, bit. That's the only thing that they booed a little, a little, the, a little bit. I, but did did you sense any any difference in the show at all? Just at the end, they said executive producers Lee Fitting and Paul Levesque, which you know they didn't they they haven't done credits on shows in a long long time if ever. So that was a different one, and 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 Paul Levesque opened the show in mean, aboard the cage match, um, and. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was a, a I thought it was a, a good show. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it does. Um, but um, I yeah, it, it, it's not any any, you know, they, they do some minor, minor cosmetic changes, mm -hmm. like you said, but it was the same Smackdown um, that they've been doing same type of matches the same. They did more um, side by side commercials because Fox wasn't doing those. So that's different. Um, like AEW does, um, you know, did they, did they go over the hour also? I yes. Mean, yes. Yeah. Cause my, my thing got cut off. So I had to watch the end of it on, on, uh, YouTube. Okay. So, so yeah, I thought that it's so weird. It's like all those people complain when AEW did it the first week and then WWE did. I like, I heard nobody complain at all. It's I was I was so frustrated because it was right when Cody and Roman were talking and then it cut off and I was like, what well, of all the times to cut off? Yeah. Um, and so, uh, you know, I I just think it's it's better for them to work with these different providers to make sure because it well, can't be bad. great. It can't be great for their ratings. They're they're kind of peaking things at the end and not not that it's going to mean a whole lot of difference, but. You know, it, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't help them uh, uh, in trying to uh, to attract the viewers that they're attracting. So I hope they figure it out. But, you know, there's there's just so many different ways to watch these shows these days. So uh, everyone's kind of got to be on the same page. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.